morning we're going to be talking about something related to the khutbah which we talk about anybody remember what was the khutbah about beside myself gratitude gratitude and gratitude comes you understand with what appreciation so appreciation gratitude comes as a result of favor and the blessings and what you call ni'ma and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us wa in ta'uddu ni'mat Allah la tuhsuha if you count the favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you could not number them and this is reality this is something is real and the ni'm of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your right and your left in front of you behind you in you with out of you everything if you look you understand you could not see anything other than the favor of Allah the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying alam naj'al al-ard mihada wal jibal awtada wa khalaqnakum azwaja wa ja'alna nawmakum subata wa ja'alna al-layla libasa wa ja'alna an-nahara ma'asha wa banayna fawqakum sab'an وجعلنا سراجا وهاجا وأنزلنا من المعصرات ماء ثجاجا سبحان الله so there is نعمة inside you and there is نعمة surrounded you and out of you even for us you understand you see in me I see you this is نعمة can you imagine if somebody said to you okay I'm going to make you the millionaire I'm going to make you the president of the United States let me take your vision away from you سبحان الله but how many of us think and reflect about it? Okay? Allah said, Alam Najallahu Ainain, Walisan and Washafatain, Wahadainahu Najdain. Did we give him two eyes and a tongue and lips? We may even do not even think about what's what is the ni'mah? Why Allah talking about lips? But can you imagine yourself even Forget about talking or eating or anything like this. Your appearance to the people. You may even sit in your house. You don't want to step outside because you don't want to see people to see you with no lips. Subhanallah. Okay? But can you imagine how you're going to be talking without your lips? Okay? Can you imagine that your, your mouth is open, your teeth is only appearing to the people? Subhanallah. If you look in yourself... Inside yourself, as Allah is saying, وَفِي أَنفُسِكُمْ أَفَلَا تُبْصِرُونَ It is in your own self, in, okay? Why you don't think, why you don't reflect? How you can, how you can ignore Allah's favor and Allah's blessings? Right, left, hearing, your nose, breathing the air in your own, you don't need a breathing machine, huh? But sometimes we don't acknowledge these things and see these things until we are in trouble. When you are in the hospital, okay? Now, you start to know the value of the eyes, the value of breathing. You go sleep and you're still breathing. Is it right? Is it right? Alhamdulillah. Subhanallah. The expression. You can talk and you can move your tongue. In your tongue itself, you can see the tasting, ability of talking, expression, ex ex expressing yourself. You understand? Try to relate. <coughs> Subhanallah. And the outside of this now. Allah is saying, Alam naj'al al arda mihada. Did we make the earth like a bed? You can travel, you can go, you can come, you can drive on it. Well, Jibala Autada, you can have earth, but if no mountains, we'll be rocking, we understand. Subhanallah. So, acknowledging the favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we can count, we can sit, you understand, until sunrise talking about this is ni'mah, this is a blessing, this is a favor, this is the bounty of Allah. But this is not the subject. The subject is so big and so great. And reflecting on it shows you the greatness of Allah. It shows you how small you are. It shows you how 
great Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, okay? How you deny the favor of Allah, how you are not. I don't see how people could not can deny Allah or not worshiping Allah or obeying Allah. How? How? He's given it to you right and left, day and night, sleeping, awake, walking, you see favor of Allah. But there is a point here which I want to emphasize this morning, how we can preserve, protect this ni'mah. Because there is no guarantee. There is no any insurance, okay? Even if you make, you have a club or registering or you're making payment for health insurance, it doesn't guarantee that you're going to have your eyes. And if you have your eyes, does not guarantee you're going to have the ability of seeing and your vision. Is this true or not? What's the guarantee? What's the max they can give you? Huh? That they're going to give you uh, medication and examination and all these things because you are a member. But can they give you your, your sight back? Subhanallah. You see? So how we can preserve this ni'mad? Ni'mas, if I can use this term, you understand? How you can really, this is something, something very important we need to reflect on it, okay? We need to, for every favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, show a gratitude. Okay? First of all, remember who is the mun'im subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who is the one who bestows the favor upon you? Okay? Acknowledge him. Respect his law. Praising him. Alright? This is something very important. And remember always that the source of the ni'mah is Allah. Whatever that a favor that you have is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nevertheless, we say that we have ni'am inside us, and we have ni'am and favor and blessings out of us, in the environment, in our houses, our spouses, in everything, even the animals, some of the animals for you to ride, some of them that you eat its meat, some of them that you possess them for the beauty, some of them that you possess and understand like business, selling and buying. It's the moment that Allah opens your eyes to see the ni'mah. And the dua of Allahumma a'inni ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadatik. And I hope that each one of you know it, not in English, to say it, to say it in Arabic, okay? Oh Allah, enable me, assist me, make me capable to recognize this. A'inni ala dhikrika. Help me to be able to remember you. Wa shukrika and be grateful to you. Be thankful to you. To acknowledge this, to acknowledge. Because we have a lot. But do we really acknowledge them? Do we really reflect on it? Okay? Do we really feel that we have it? Alright? وَحُسْنِ ibadatik, And this comes as a point as try to pay. Try to. Not, you could not pay Allah for what He gave you. Doesn't matter how long. You stay day and night in dhikrullah. You tie yourself beside the member and sit in the masjid day and night to try to please Allah. Is not equal to one, one of Allah's favor, okay? But to be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to protect this ni'mah, okay? Look to the ni'mah of strength and the body and the power and the ability of doing things. We need to utilize these things in what's pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also keep it away from using it in the disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you health, strength, siha, okay? So use it for what is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
as example, jihad, fighting in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What's life? You, you given it so cheap, okay? For the sake of your creator, for something that is pleasing to him. So it doesn't matter you die or you be wounded, you're never going to be a loser. But always remember, you never give even one uh, unmuda, one uh, what you call uh, uh, fingertip finger for foolishness, okay? For color, for communism, for any ism, anything. One unmuda, one fingertip, one nail. Do not give it to anything if you are not sure that it's pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But when it comes about what is pleasing to Allah, you can give the whole thing because you never can be a loser. And Allah is saying, Inna Allah shtara min al That Allah, He is a giver, but He say, indeed Allah bought, okay? Allah asking for a loan, give, give me this back. Your property, your money, your souls. So when it's for Allah, give it. And don't be afraid or scared that you're going to lose it. It's a test, okay? But remember who gave it to you originally. And whenever it comes a time that he ask for it, be ready to give it. But you have to be wise and knowledgeable that when you're giving it, you're giving it in the right way. And before we keep rolling on this high jihad business and somebody misunderstand us, especially those who are recording, <laughs> one, two, three, four, fifteen million, okay? Let's say as example, one of the jihad is a great term, but one of the jihad is hajj as example. And the Prophet ﷺ told us that the hajj is the jihad, the struggle, of the older person, the woman, okay? Everybody. It's a jihad. Even if you're paying $15,000 for your hajj package, it still is going to be some struggle and some, you need some patience and you have to be, stay. can you imagine sitting a whole day in a place like Arafah as example, all right? Nothing but mountains, doesn't matter how thin the air condition, like you say, and all they have all these cool drinks and all these things, but you are not used to it. It's going to be a type of jihad. Why you have to go all the way to Mecca for jihad? It's jihad in your own house. Is this not true? And you try to be patient with your wife, or your wife patient with you, and you don't like her attitude, she don't like understand you coming late, you don't, she don't like you keeping going to the mosque. it's going to be jihad wherever you go. You see? It's going to be a jihad. So now when we give it for Allah, for the sake of Allah, doesn't matter if in jihad or in hajj or walking to the mosque or assisting others, is going to be a means of real insurance, not a fake insurance, Muhammad. Huh? A real insurance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless it. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve it for you. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you back in strength, okay? So the physical being that Allah give it to us, that we make sure that we're using it for what is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you want to go to the list, you find a whole long list about from jihad and hajj, qiyam al layl, walking to the mosque, understand, assisting the other Muslims is a lot. By doing this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make insurance for your body, for your health, okay? And also, that don't use this strength in anything that is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay? The ability of typing or writing. Okay? This is a physical thing also, okay? 
And sometimes say, oh, my friend, what is Anwar? Oh, Anwar is here. You, you see him sometimes don't like this. Well, those that like this. Yeah, but after a while, you understand? And moving the mouse and the cat and going all these things and doing this, okay? You get tired. But now, what are you typing? Huh? Are you writing something lying to please some agent? Huh? And saying, yeah, I saw him doing this. All these things. So you want to preserve. Good morning, America. <laughs> <coughs> I said good morning to you. Rahmatullah <laughs> barakatuh. Okay? This is something very important. Utilize it for what's pleasing to Allah and also keep it back from what is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because when you indulge with your strength and your body in what is pleasing to Allah, if it's stealing, if it's because it takes an effort. Adultery, fornication, uh, putting, uh, planting bombs to destroy the people and their property. All these things is going to, in return, corrupt your heart. When your heart is corrupted, it's going to come to the limbs. You understand? It's going to spoil it. You could not, you understand, oh, it's my car. And I can bump the gas, you understand, in the engine, not in the tank. And put the oil, you understand, in the tank. You don't do these things. It's going to corrupt the whole thing. So now when you're using, like you say, إِذَا كُنْتَ فِي نِعْمَةٍ فَرْعَهَا فَإِنَّ الْمَعَاصِي تُذِيرُ النِعَمْ Something, I, I forgot all this stuff. Anyway, the... The blessing of Allah of safety and security. Remember this. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying Liila fi Qurayshin ila fihim rihlata shita iwa saif fali abudu rabbahad al bait alladhi atamahum min ju'in wa amanahum min khauf. This is two things. The main stability of any family, society, organization. Hunger and fear, okay? And when fear, worse than hunger, because you can't sleep even if you're hungry, you can tie your stomach. I know most of you did not try these things before, but you can do this. You read the Sunnah, you will know about tying up stomach. We don't tie, so we tie, oh, so I could not breathe, man, I ate so much, okay? <laughs> huh? But you can live with a hunger, but you could not live with fear. So the safety and security of the house, of the family, of the mosque, of the street, of the society, of the neighbors, is something very important. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminding Quraysh, reminding them about his favor upon them by feeding them while they live in, in the desert. In desert, you could not plant there. But Allah makes things coming all the way to them. Huh? But the second thing was what? He said, وَآمَنَهُمْ And give them security and safety. Okay? You can really go and close your eyes and sleep. And believe me, brothers and sisters, we live in, in this society here, we enjoy a lot of things. Some of them is not even in Muslim countries. This reality. But we are not utilizing it. We are not using it. We are not taking advantage of it. Do you know what? Do you know coming here for Fajr? In some countries you could not do this. They'd be watching you. They would get your name. And the next thing they questioning you. Sending you understand their <coughs> agent. I don't know if they call it their FBI or whatever. They call it CIA. CIA or call it Mabahis, Mukhabarat, whatever it is, you call it. For what? Only because you walk in, they watch in you that you want two times during the week for the masjid. So now you're going to be a dedicated Muslim. They want to get you right away, but fear in your heart. Look, we can spend the night in the mosque. Doesn't matter if we're 20, 50, 100, we have classes. We can be talking everything, all right? But how much we use in this ni'mah? Ni'mah of security, safety, 
Okay? But when we're going to acknowledge it, when we lose it, but it's going to be too late. Nobody's stopping you to come to make Fajr. Nobody going to stop you to come to make Qiyam. You understand? Our laziness, our be being ungrateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us, okay, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us something that we need to be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, using it in a way, one of the things that the brotherhood that we have, alhamdulillah, we know each other, we meet each other, we shake and we do it like this and like that and this and, okay, and all kind of stuff, okay? Especially if you are a soul brother, huh? <laughs> and you, you kick like this and you kick like this, all this thing. But after this, what? You leave and say, man, it's nothing, okay? Don't, don't, don't talk even to him. He's this dude, I know him, okay? This is Neymar. Now we're backbiting, slandering your Muslim brother, eating his flesh, understand while he's dead. Okay? This is name, The sadaqah, the friendship, the brotherhood, the sisterhood. Okay? Being together. Talking about them after they leave. Okay? So now, you are not acknowledging the favor. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told the sahaba. They used to kill each other for nothing. If you have a camel, I have a camel, and my camel drinks the water from the well before your camel, this will be a fight between me and you. And after this, between me and you, now your tribe is coming and my tribe is coming. And they're going to go like this for years and years and years. وَذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ إِذْ كُنْتُمْ أَعْدَاءً فَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِكُمْ فَأَصْبَحْتُمْ بِنِعْمَةِ إِخْوَانًا Remember the favor of Allah. You see, Allah said, it's a great favor. Your Muslim brother, especially living in a society like this, we need each other. We need each other. Why? Why will always something to argue about it, something to fight over it, something, you understand, to boycott one another. Allah telling the Sahaba in an early stage, remember the favor, the ni'mah, the blessing of Allah upon you. And look what before you used to be. Kuntum a'da'an. فَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِكُمْ He is the one who had united your heart. Huh? فَأَصْبَحْتُمْ بِنِعْمَتِهِ Again. And you became after this according because his favor. The favor of Allah is still here. The Quran is still here. The Sunnah is still here. This was supposed to unite us. And I love you more the more you get into the Sunnah. This what make us love each other. Forget about it. you got money or you got this or you're going to give me your daughter in marriage. All of these things, it goes and comes. But the deen of Allah, this what is united us. I see you understand abun sunnah, not abun bid'ah. Now make me love you. Doesn't matter, you understand. This shaitan, you understand, want to keep us distant from each other. Forgive your brother when he make a mistake. Okay? Try to assume better than him. He, he, no, I don't think he meant this, okay? Oh, no, 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 I, I, this is not what I heard, you understand? Because the shaitan is trying to destroy the unity. And you can see, see Muslims overseas, how they killing each other. How they killing each other. How, what? Muslims killing each other, physical killing. But start with all of these small things, okay? As a result of this, he sees the Prophet وسلم, is telling us, none of you are supposed to boycott his Muslim brother beyond three days. Now these people, they boycotting and they doing all kind of, using the media, using all the blessings that Allah given them, of what? Killing each other. Physically, mentally, spiritually, by videos, by... Uh, uh, media by all kind of things we have to understand and acknowledge the brotherhood especially when we live in as a minority we don't have some of, of us you understand living here we don't know who's 
our aunts, who is our grandmother. We have another family. We have a new family here. We are the brothers of each other. Okay? We are uncles to one another. We are family. And this is the real. And Allah is saying, الْأَخِلَّاءُ بَعْضُهُمْ لِبَعْضٍ يَوْمَئِذٍ عَدُوا إِلَّا الْمُتَّقِينَ That in the day of the judgment, those who use have close relationship are enemy of one another with exception of those who have taqwa the taqwa will keep our brotherhood and our friendship with us even until the day of the judgment and in jannah ikhwanan ala surinin mutaqabilun the favors of allah is a lot and i don't want to drag in it too much you understand but think about your tongue what you use in it? How are you going to use it? Are you making zikrullah? Are you teaching Quran? Are you giving advice to others? And what are you using your tongue for? So in everything that you need to learn how to guard it, to keep it on the Sirat al Mustaqim in a way that pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if it's money, if it's time, if it's a tongue, if it's a hand, if it's a car, if it's a children, if it's a wife, if it's a husband, if it's food, whatever. Turning to a way pleasing to Allah. And use it according to the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, And do not, you understand, use it in a different way. Take money as example and let's close with this, okay? Money. We can buy drugs can buy alcohol, we can also buy halal meat, okay? We can also give a charity. There is many ways. So see what Allah had forbid concerning money and do not. Not income, not spending. Haram, haram. And see what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with the money to go to, how to earn it and how to spend it and do it. And this is the way you're going to preserve and protect the ni'mah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the way we're going to be, you understand, pleasing to Allah. And Allah is saying, If you be grateful, I will increase my blessings and my favor upon you. So for you to preserve it, to protect it, and for you to get more, channel it in a way that pleases to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do not let it go towards things pleasing to the shaitan, inshallah. With this, I uh, end this khatira, okay? A little bit long khatira, okay? Hopefully, inshallah, is is not about how much we talk, that I hope that we it hit home for me and for you and for everybody. And that we try, inshallah, to direct all the ni'mas of Allah in a way that pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not in any manner that this pleasing to Allah so Allah can preserve it for us, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it a means for us to worship Him in a better way. Comments, concern, questions, correction. Get you a pillow, get you a sleeping bag. Harak Abiyad. Question? Comments? Correction? Any news? Views? Yes? Farid. Thank you for being here this morning, Farid. This is very good. MashaAllah. Yes, Lukman. Yeah, um, can you please explain? That was from yesterday. You said. I'm trying to remember. You, you want me to remind you? Yes. Uh, you said something about Allah guide those that He will, mm -hmm. and He also have like a screen, like a, a, a block those that He doesn't want to die. So, look, man, look, man. You have a five dollars in your right bucket, is it? Say yes. This five buckets of five dollars is yours or mine? Do you have the choice to use it whatever way you want? Does it have to be or it have to be according to what I want? It's yours, is it? Do we belong to Allah? 
Does Allah have the right to do whatever He wants with us? Yes. Although that sometimes we do things selfish with our money. But Allah never do anything without knowledge, wisdom, knowing what He's doing. Okay? And Allah said, In their hearts there is disease. So Allah increased their illness and their disease. Okay? So can we also punish them? Huh? <laughs> no, I, mean, I, I see know. your point. I understand. Okay. So now, now listen, listen. You put the seed, it will grow. Okay? That Allah allows them to go more in their, okay? In their, yeah, what you call, their wrongdoing. Yes. Okay? But nevertheless, the bottom line, because the qadr is, is something very, very sensitive. The best thing you understand that said he's the creator, he knows, and whatever he wants is up to him. It's his. Okay? You are not, regardless how much I said and explain it to you, okay? But inshallah, you come for the class on Monday, you will get more details and better answer. Okay? <laughs> But what I'm trying to tell you, as the Prophet ﷺ said, إِذَا ذُكِرَ الْقَدَرْ فَأَمْسِكُوا 